Okay, here I have my cochineal that's been soaking overnight. This is for our first extract. And a little spatula here. And you can see on this white spatula, it's kind of come out thick. The bugs are kind of fat. They almost look like little plump raisins. And what I'm going to do is for my first extract, I have a little bit of water in the bottom of my pan here. So I'm going to take my, I guess I'll put that right there, hand strainer. And I'm going to strain my bugs into my other pan. You can do this into a, a jar, gallon jar or something like that would work just fine plastic bucket. Oh, I like old ice cream buckets. I just happen to have this pan handy. I'm going to let this drain a little bit. And then I'm going to put this back into my pan. I'm going to cover with water. And I'm going to reheat this. I covered it with probably a half inch of water. And I'm going to reheat this and I'm going to let this sit overnight. What I can do with the cochineal that's in this pan now is I can either dye fiber with it or I can save it until tomorrow and collect out the remaining um, color that has been extracted from my bugs. Again, you can do this upwards of 10 to 20 times depending on the co concentration of carminic acid that is within the bugs. Um, 20 times is really stretching it, but in some years the carminic acid levels are a lot higher than others. It has to do with whether or not these are farm-raised, wild-crafted, or whatever. Uh, we won't get into the uh, politics of uh, cochineal and doping and that sort of thing. Um, here, if you have questions, you can always email me and ask me and I'll share my opinions with you that way. So at this point I'm going to save this until tomorrow. Now some people do take their cochineal and they heat it up and they reuse it immediately. They strain it and reuse it immediately. You can do it like that. However, I have found that by letting the bugs, heating it up and letting the bugs sit overnight, you would remove the heat. So you heat it up, let it heat for five minutes, simmer, shut it off and let it sit overnight and then strain them the next day. You actually get better color than if you heat it up, simmer it, strain the bugs, recover with water, heat it up, simmer it, strain the bugs, cover with water. You can do it that way if you're really in a crunch for time. However, I recommend letting the bugs sit overnight for, for the best color extraction. It really comes down to personal preference at this point. Tomorrow I'm going to use my cochineal extract. Um, we'll show you a video on that and uh, we're going to work towards our first reds.